I'm gonna give you guys two strategies that I use for my buyers in a hot market, similar to what we're dealing with right now here on Cape Cod, you know, multiple offer situations, et cetera. We get what's called a hot sheet every day. This is a list of all the activity on our MLS, where all our properties are. A lot of agents, they go straight to new listings. It makes sense. You know, you go, you look at new listings, you want to see what's available. For me, the first place that I am looking, the first place that I'm kind of clicking on once I get that hot sheet is back on market. These are properties that have come back available. They had an accepted offer. They started moving forward with another buyer. And for whatever reason, they came back available. Oftentimes it could have been, you know, inspection, it could have been um, different negotiations, it could have been financing, but for whatever reason, these properties are back available again. Why do I go here? One, these sellers, they, they're already in the mindset that they're moving forward with the deal and all of a sudden things came apart. Um, oftentimes maybe they are looking to buy their next home. They got their house under contract and they went and they found the next home. All of a sudden their contract fell apart. This gives you a little bit of leverage if you're a buyer. If we go and find a property that just came back on market, we can be the solution for them. And oftentimes they need us a lot more than we need them. If the property meets all the criteria, it could be a good home. This is a great opportunity to find a deal. So what I do, I go back on market, look for properties that just came available once again. They're not necessarily new, they're not as hot, but this has worked for me in the past where these sellers need a solution. If it's a good fit for my buyer, we can put it together and make it happen. The other strategy that I've used, and I've had great success with this in the past, not every time, but it's something that I really um, get proactive with is the reality is right now there are multiple offer situations in some price points. We'll go, we'll make an offer on a home and that seller decides to go with another offer. What I do is I like to check in with that listing agent periodically, every now and then. I, I try to figure out which pivotal dates there are, whether they have an inspection, getting to a purchase and sales agreement, just different milestones as that deal that they accepted moves forward. And I just reach out and oftentimes I'll read, hey, just wanted to check in, see how the deal's going, hope everything's well. By being proactive, it keeps me and my clients front of mind on a property that we put an offer in. And they also know that, you know, if anything falls through, if, you know, the buyers are getting a little too particular on their home inspection or their financing isn't going as planned or they're dragging their heels, for whatever reason, I want to let that listing agent know we're still in the game. We're still interested. We had an offer. We made an offer on your property and we're still ready. This can provide a solution for them. I've had deals come together where a property is a week from closing. I call the listing agent. They're like, oh, Eric, so good to hear from you. It's funny, actually, the whole deal just kind of fell apart. I know that your buyers are still interested. Do you want to submit another offer? But these are two strategies that I use in a hot market. Uh, I had a decent amount of success with them over the years and kind of moving forward as the market remains hot. This is something that I use with my buyers currently. That's about it, guys. It's very, very important when you have a buyer's agent, having someone that's proactive, looking for deals, looking for every single angle to find you the right house. I'm happy to do so if you ever want to sit down and talk about your real estate goals and see if we might be a good fit for each other feel free to reach out to me. Happy to have that conversation. Thank you for watching the video.